Presenting Superman. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And now, Superman. Amazing figure from another world with powers and abilities never before realized by mortal men. Given a chance to make good by Perry White, city editor of the Daily Planet, young Clark Kent, who was really Superman, leaped out a window 20 stories above the ground and vanished in a swirl of fog. Secret warnings had come to the newspaper of a vague and sinister plot against the railroads of the West. And mild-mannered Clark Kent had received orders to go west at once and investigate. Already danger is forming in the path of the Silver Clipper, cracked train of the West Coast Railroad, roaring over the prairie on her way to Denver and Salt Lake. All planes were grounded by fog and sleet. But today, as our story continues, a strange figure hurtles through space. Red cape streaming in the whistling wind. Superman speeds to his assignment. 24 hours to go. The Silver Clipper leaves Denver tomorrow night on her way to Salt Lake City. That man who calls himself the Wolf, have to find out who he is, too. Said the train would never get there. We'll see, Wolf. We'll see. If you're up to something, look out. Because the other side has Superman. And as Superman wings his way westward, following the faint steel ribbon of the railway line below him, two men sit waiting in a tiny shack in the Colorado foothills. One of them is Keno Carter, gunman, gambler, bad man of the Southwest. Keno waits nervously, waits for some word from the figure across the table, the dark, shadowy figure who calls himself the Wolf. Hey, listen, boss. Will you please tell me what we're doing out here now? The Silver Clipper ain't due till tomorrow. Don't even leave Denver till tomorrow afternoon. Very true, Kino. But the Western Limited is due in exactly ten minutes. Well, what, uh, what are you going to do with the Limited? I warned various people and newspapers that something would happen to the Silver Clipper tomorrow night. As it will. So far, they've chosen to ignore me. Very well. When they see what overtakes the Limited in slightly less than ten minutes, they will pay more attention to me when I call again. Now listen, boss. What is this, a game? What are you trying to do? Why ask me, Kino? Do I know any more than you? We're told to paralyze the railroads. That's all. But it's enough. We obey orders. Well, whose orders? Where did they come from? Yours come from me. And you know what happens, Kino, if you disregard them. Shall I tell you again? Uh, no, no, never mind. Very well. Come outside. Ah, not long to wait now. If the Limited is on time, we should begin to hear her. I don't hear nothing. Ah, she is on time. Have you done what I told you? Yeah, I done it. But I don't see... You will see, Kino, very shortly indeed. Hey, what are you trying to do? Scare him to death? Listen now to what I tell you. I'm listening. That train will be going over that trestle down there in another seven or eight minutes. So what? At the end of the trestle, as you can see, Kino, the track turns and runs along the cliff on the mountainside. Yeah, I see. The mountains to one side, very steep and abrupt, then the track, then the canyon, 300 feet deep. Hey, listen. You gonna throw him down the canyon? The whole ten cars? As I said before, all you have to do is obey orders. All right. What do I do? You wait till the train has crossed the trestle, then you fire the charge. Right away? Count ten, if you like. All right. And then what? Then events will take their natural course. After which you will come back and join me in the cabin. Hey, she's coming. And coming fast. Keep moving, my friend. Let her cross the trestle. Then count ten. Ah, good. Still following the railway. Ought to be getting fairly close to Denver. Looks like a long trestle up ahead. I'd get aboard that train if it weren't so slow. I'll drop down a bit and look it over. Might do it anyway. Ride in as Clark Kent. What's that man on the side of the mountain doing? Looks like he's got a charging battery for dynamite blasting. Something queer about that. Seems to be waiting. He's waiting for the train. Gonna blast it right off the tracks. This looks like some of your dirty work, Wolf. Well, here's where Superman takes a hand. I've got to stop that train. 
I'll get aboard, and they'll stop to put me off because I have no ticket. But it's got to be fast. 90 miles an hour. Good speed for a train, but it can't leave Superman behind. Ah, there's the observation platform. And what luck. Nobody on it. Now then. Grab the platform rail. There. Leap on board. Now. Now to join the passengers is Clark Kent, cub reporter for the Daily Planet. Off for the cape, into ordinary clothes, and inside. Tickets, please. All tickets. Tickets, please. Prepare, Blow. All tickets, please. Tickets, please. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, I... I'm sorry, Conductor, but I have lost it. No, you've lost it. And I'm afraid that I'll have to ask you to pay the fare. Now, you know, I, I'm terribly sorry, but I seem to have lost my money, too. Uh, I thought so. You've been riding the blinds and figured you'd sneak in here where it's warm. Well, we know how to deal with bums like you. Yes, that's right, Conductor. Stop the train and put me off. I don't mind. Huh? Say, who are you? Uh, Clark Kent, reporter for the Daily Planet. But that, that's all right. I, I, I ought to be more careful. Teach me a good lesson. Well, I guess I'll take a chance if you're really a reporter. Well, you're liable to write up a story about getting kicked off our train. You can stay where you are. But look here. And I'll take I... care of you when we get to town. And if you're not a reporter... Oh, no good. I overplayed it. Wait, Scott, I've got to do something and quick, too. We're on the trestle. Where's that emergency cord? Hey, hey, what's going on here? Who, who pulled that cord? Why... I did, Conductor. I, I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? Well, you'd better be sorry. Here, here. Come back here. Come back I, I, here. I can't stay, Conductor. My conscience bothers me. I'll just jump off right where we are, on the trestle. You here. come back here. Oh, I, I'll be all right. Don't don't worry about me. No, no, I got you. No, but, you no. can't get away this time. Now, you stay right here. I want to get well, off. Well, you ain't getting off. You'll go to jail for this. You come back up them steps. Look. Up the mountain, Conductor. That flash. Hey, what, what the... What the... Why, what's going on up there? It was a blast. An explosion up the mountain. Great Scott, Conductor, look, look what's coming. Oh, Lord, save us, it's a rock slide. Tons of rock coming down on the track. Listen to it. And right ahead of us, too. Took the tracks out like two pieces of string. Oh, Lord. And now they're all coming out to find out what happened. It's all right. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen, no danger. Just a rock slide up ahead. That's all. There may be a slight delay. Delay? You don't think you can dig through that, do you? Now get back in the train, please. Get back. It's dangerous out here. Back on board, please. We may be held up a little while. Back on board, everybody, please. We'll be pulling out directly. Now then, Conductor, I I think you owe me a vote of thanks. No, you do, do you? Well, what makes you think that? Well, use your eyes, man. Where would you be now if I hadn't stopped the train? Huh? Well, now, there may be something in what you say. I'm not denying if we'd been going our regular speed, we'd have got that rock slide right about the third car. I'll say you would. You'd have been down in that canyon, too. And it's 300 feet deep. As a matter of fact, that's where you were intended to be. Oh, is it? Well, what makes you think so? Goodbye, Conductor. I'll see you later. Hey, you come back here. Catch that guy. Joe, Mike, don't let him get away from the dark. Where'd you go? Catch him. Catch him, man. Get a hold of the boy. Twenty tons of rock. Why, that's nothing. Hardly a workout. Anything to put a crimp in the wolf's plans... And Clark Kent, reporter, simply must be in Denver by morning. First of all, down into the canyon for the missing rails. There they are. Now, back to the roadbed. I never swept up a rock slide before, but there's nothing like trying. Here we go. <laughs> Why, it's nothing. I'll have the line clear before that conductor knows I've gone. The Limited will be in Denver in an hour. Well, Kino, all done? What happened? No, nothing happened. Nothing happened? What do you mean? Oh, one of them things, boss. The train stopped on the trestle. Stopped? That train never stops. Well, it stopped this time. And a guy got out, and I didn't know, so I shot the stuff. Yes, yes, I heard it. Well, didn't you come out to look? I thought I'd better stay hidden. Well, there was a rock slide, and that's all. The train wasn't scratched. The line's blocked, but the train ain't hurt. This man who got out, who was he? After the slide, I snuck down and joined the mob, see? I heard him talking about a newspaper guy and looking for him. A uh, name of Clark Kent. Kent? I don't know him. Well, you better, because he knows us. What's that? I don't know. All I can tell you is they're looking for him. 
Clark Kent, a newspaper man. Who knew enough to stop that train? Well, we shall look for him too, my friend. Uh, we'll have lots of time. They won't get the line clear this side of Sunday. We shall look for this Mr. Kent. And when we find him... Ah, the train. They've decided to go back to Pueblo. Let's look. Aquino. Aquino, that train. What? It's going west. Why, it can't be. Hey, well, what the... But it is. It's on its way to Denver. Why, it can't be. Why, there was 20 tons of rock on the line. Look for yourself, Kino. It's not possible. It's not human. But look. Well, very well. We go to Denver too, Kino, at once to find out what goes on and to take care of Mr. Kent, the newspaper man. Get the plane ready. Less than 24 hours to solve the plot and save the Silver Clipper. But now the wolf is hard on Clark Kent's trail. What happens in Denver when daylight comes, when Clark Kent breaks the story, and when the wolf meets Superman? Tune in and don't miss it. And remember, be with us again for the next thrilling installment of Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman! <laughs>